it's Jen. I brought you up on a hike with me. I'm an empowerment life coach for Stronger Because Coaching, and I do a lot of these videos just so that people can have something to hold on to, maybe in some hard times when they're struggling with something particular. And today, I just really have on my mind people who struggle with shame. And this is really close to me because I've had this struggle in my life where I just start feeling like, I, I know where shame comes from. It's where we just feel like we don't do it well enough, we're not enough, or we're not doing it right. And it's just a really hard, difficult place to be. It's really hard to move forward because what shame does is it, it teaches us to hide. It, it whispers to us that we're not good enough, we need to get off the radar, we need to hide. And this really keeps us from obtaining the potential um, love and happiness and joy in our life. Because as we're hiding from shame and pain, we're also hiding from those other things. And we don't have quite the capacity to experience them on the other side of the spectrum if we're that worried about shame. And so I just want to share something. I'm thinking of the people that I just super love today. And I, if you need this message, I love you too, but even if you don't need this message, I love you too, but here's just what I want to leave is that when we are really tempted to lean away from shame, to get away from it, to hide, remember that takes our self-awareness away. It takes our ability to progress away. I'm going to encourage you to lean into it. And I was thinking about that on the way up here because the trail is a bit icy. We had a lot of snow, a lot of rain, and then it got really, really cold. And so the trail is like slick. And several times on the way up here, I almost fell backwards. Like, I'm like, I'm going to bite it. I'm going to totally bite it here any minute. And I thought, wait a second. You know, when we are slipping, we're trying to move forward. But what happens is we start to fall backwards. And it's when we lean back that we really crash and burn. It's when we really go down big, right? And I realized that the way to not slip, to not crash and burn, is to lean forward and lean into it. And I mean that in two different ways. When we are leaning into shame, we're allowing it to be there. We're not trying to resist it in any way. We're just saying, okay, okay, I've got some shame going on and open up to it and let ourselves feel the feeling of shame without reacting to it, without resisting it, and without distracting from it because those are all things that keep us from moving forward. But the other way I, I talk about, the other thing I mean when I say lean into it is I mean lean forward. A lot of times we're in shame, we're looking at evidence to to support that we're doing it wrong. We'll find things in our, in our background, in our past, that say, see, you're not good enough and you're not doing it right. And here are all the other times that you haven't done it right and you haven't been enough. Now that's a way of leaning backwards. And I want you to lean forward into the person that you're becoming. Today you have more awareness. Today you have new beliefs. You have different thoughts than you did back then. You can't judge yourself on that past person. But what you can do is lean into the person that you want to be and the person you're becoming. Knowing that you're worth it, that you're already valuable, and you are already totally fine how you are. If you want to be better, lean into it. Lean into the shame and lean forward into the person you're becoming out of love. Okay, this is from me to you, from my heart because I love you and I hope that you're not hiding from shame because we need you. Lots of people around need you and you have something very important to offer and you have more things to experience while you're here. I hope you get the full range and it requires the 50% that involves feeling some really uncomfortable things. And shame for me is probably the most uncomfortable that I can think of. Okay, good luck to you. Could you use some insight into how to apply these things into your life today? Just find a link for a free consult on strongerbecause.com.